Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, I'm going to be talking about, one, the new Mana Spiral that Gala Yuden got, aka Gala Prince, aka, aka Gala whatever you called yourself. And I want to also look into and talk about the Trials of the Mighty that um, were just added, and are the reasons we are getting the Mana Spiral for Gala Yuden, so... Let's begin today's video. Once again, as always, you can always show your support by leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. Either one of those things helps me out a great bunch, and let's get into the video now. So, yeah, Gala Prince. The Gala Prince is in a weird place where I don't really... Where for some reason he doesn't really... I feel like he needed a buff. But at the same time, he's still one of the better light units in the game. It's not like <laughs> it's not like he was suffering or anything. The only thing that kind of put a real damper on him was the Rise of the Sinister Dominion. Really kind of hampered what he could do, I feel, um, because of his main buff zone. But let's see what he does now. Rising Circlet deals damage to the surrounding enemies and creates a buff zone that increases strength. The damage is 1,700. Skill and energy required is 3,817, and when it's a shared skill, it is 16,000. And the strength is 20% less than 10 seconds. I think it just deals a little bit more damage. I don't really see much change in this. Exalted Glory deals damage to the enemies directly ahead and inflicts paralysis. Increases the entire team's strength and defense, grants all teammates a shield, and grants the user a strength amp. The skill gauge for this skill can be filled by attacking enemies, but it will also gradually fill automatically. Uh, damage 134 times 3 hits, and then 400 times 10 hits. Uh, skill, en skill energy required fills automatically. Special effects, strength 15%, last 15 seconds. Defense 20%, last 15 seconds. Shield charges 1. Potency 30% of max HP. Paralysis, last 13 seconds. And amps, strength amp, team amp, max level equals 3. Okay, so I think it's... <laughs> Hmm, it's really weird because if so the main thing they've they've kind of added a little bit of the I think he deals a little bit more damage now um, But the main thing that they've changed here is that they've given him a skill amp, which is 100% immune to the Curse of Nihility aka the rise of the sinister dominion debuff for the Lilith fight, um, which is good because His first skill outside of damage was basically I think kind of useless I don't I think he could get removed easily. I don't think it was completely useless um I remember it being completely useless when I used it, but maybe by now people have figured out a way to make the skill one useful in some way. Um, the reason it's useless in some cases is that um, the buff that you get can be removed, and that's no fun. A lot of buffs end up getting removed from this, except for personal buffs and the skill. this new amp that they introduced with Miriam. I'm pretty sure they introduced with her, I don't remember anyone else having it, um, is immune to that specific mechanic. So it's good that they're giving him here, so it looks like he'll be able to buff it up. That means if you have a team of four Yudins, you'd be getting maximum maximum buffing. I also like that they gave it specifically to this skill, because they knew if they gave it to the first skill, it'd be, easy, it'd be easily able to, um, I guess, be cheesed in some way. Um, because this move is affected by skill... Um, skill gauge stuff that increases skill gauge stuff, but Exalted Glory is not. It fills automatically, you can only get it up by um, hitting dudes. That's the only way you can get it up. So, that's that second move. The co-op ability is a shape-shifting beast 8. Adds 10% of the modifier applied to damage when in dragon form and extends shapeshift time by 20%. Benefits the whole team. Okay. I don't think there's a change there. Chain co-op ability, shapeshift people, HP regen uh, 6. If a team member is attuned to light, each shapeshift grants them an HP regen buff for 20 seconds. Yeah, same as always. Dragon Lights Resolve 3 reduces dragon gauge depletion over time by 40%. Increase attack rate when shapeshifting by 10%. The increased attack rate has remained the same. The dragon gauge depletion used to be 30%, but now it's 40 so okay. Sacred Shield 3 reduces susceptibility to poison and curses, and if you get hit by either one of those, then you get your strength increased in some way. Okay. So basically like, okay. That's a nice old buff there, for sure. And Draconic Charge 3 fills 50% of the user's Dragon Gauge gauge when their HP drops to 40% instead of 30%, which is what he usually has. Okay. So really minor changes, I think like the main big, except for of course his stats will increase and stuff like that, but 
They were very careful on this one, which makes sense because if they went overboard then we would have a lot of problems. Um, I'm gonna have to wait and see. I think he could be obviously extremely good because he's already very good. So they just made him slightly better so that he's gonna be probably the go-to sword for light for the time being. I don't know actually if he's gonna be able to be Pecoron. Um, I'll be interested to see in that. It's kind of a shame because I wish he's so dragon focused. Um, but none of his main skills are, like, deal with dragon stuff at all. It kind of makes me sad that he isn't like that. The Gala Prince should have been made to be a little bit more like Mim, I guess, is in my mind of what I would have liked him. If he was more like Mim, he'd be crazy busted. Um, but instead they made him kind of a buffer. So, actually I don't think it'd be a good idea to have another Mim running around. It's bad enough we have one on fire and she's already as good as she is. Alright. So now we'll look at the Trials of the Mighty. This is actually how you'll be able to get the stuff to get him to a full mana spiral. So I'm going to assume that you're not going to be able to- we're not going to be able to get him day one. I, that's what I'm assuming on this one. Um, but we'll see. So the Trials of the Mighty, you'll be challenged with various foes. The first ones are Thor, Poseidon, and um, Zephyr. Now here this is a specific- the might requirement so is 15,000, 20,000, 38,000. It's not too bad. Um, the quest duration goes from 4.6 to 4.13. The eligible elements and weapon types, meaning they have to be this element and then be of this weapon type. Sword, Wand, Staff. Okay. And you get stuff from Gala Princess. Sword, Wand, Staff isn't too bad. Um, yeah, I don't think that's too bad. That's Gala Alex, that's Gala Cleo, that's, um, Veronica, that's still Grace. Totally possible, I think. Next, we got Poseidon. Let's see what he does. So he will give Gala Ellie. Um, I don't know why my brain just stops. <laughs> the conviction and devotions. Um, and he, we'll probably actually get her information when it becomes closer to 413. Okay, so let's see. Wait, so does that mean... Does he leave at 413? He does, okay. Um... For him, it's going to be win, dagger, wand, staff. So if you got Galanot, you're in good luck. Miriam, my girl, working it in there. Uh, Lowen, perfectly fine. It does kind of suck for some for one big reason is that there's a lot of really good sword units in wind, and this basically cuts you at. The, so basically, don't use Galarantel. <laughs> we don't we don't want you to use him for this one, which is funny because the next one, Zephyr. Drop stuff for Galaranzel. And for this one, the only eligibility is Flame, uh, Axe, Lance, and Staff. Um, which should be perfectly fine because Axe and Lance, that gets you... Lance gives you access to Halloween Mim. And Fight. Uh, Staff gives you Halloween Lowen. I think those two are pretty good by themselves. Pick the right Axe units and you're basically good to go. That's how in my mind. Or you could just get one Axe unit and then get... Um, I can't believe I've forgotten her name. This is Emma. Emma's the extremely good buffer for Lance, um, who was the main Lance unit, I think, up until Mim Supremacy took over. So we'll know more about this specific buff in 420. Ha! My birthday. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. That's the only reason to laugh. Um, so yeah, the Trials of the Mighty, man. I'm looking forward to that. See how that works out. It should be debuting... Not today, tomorrow. Uh, so yeah. It's gonna be very interesting. I'm very hesitant to see how these mana spirals are gonna come down. Uh, we'll see how he is in action, but it really feels like they just made the Gala Prince slightly better, which is perfectly fine, because the Gala Prince is already very good. Um, the only thing he really needed was something to make him more viable in Rise of the Sinister Dominion. I think some people were already using him in there, even though he wasn't the main unit. Um, but this would also make him better for stuff like, uh, Tart, which is very good. So yeah, we'll be, I'll be interested to see how they handle this stuff. I really hope they do a good job on this. I really don't like the idea of them blocking behind. I like the idea of free mana spirals. That's cool. I don't like the idea of h locking mana spirals behind very specific fights that you have to fight on a very specific day. That is kind of baloney. Because it means that if you did not pre-game and get the stuff that you needed for the Gala Prince on the right day, then you're just kind of SOL. 
so to say. But that's how I feel. And that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If so, always, you can give, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I will gladly read them, see what you have to say. You can leave a like if you ended up liking this video. Help the channel. Keep subscribing, because we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 now. Thank you guys very much for doing that for me. And until next adventure, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace out. Sleep tight. That ended up sounding weird.